Good day. I am Krizel Silaranang from ECEA 103L B15 and for this video, I am going to demonstrate an SCR phase angle control circuit with varying firing angle from 0 up to almost 180 degrees using a simulation software called Circuit Wizard. So first, let us put the components just like what we did in experiment 2. We will be needing a potentiometer, a tire restore, resistors, diodes, and an AC voltage source. And of course, don't forget the ground. So let us now connect the oscilloscope. Here, so the positive probe here at the top and the negative probe here at the bottom. And let's try to run it, but we have to change it first. Yeah. Yeah. And for the channel too, is the source VS. It's our 0 0.25. I think it's good already. Yeah. Okay. So the color blue here, or the purple, is the channel 2, which is the voltage source. And the red wave here is the output waveform across this load of R3. And now let's adjust the potentiometer. So let's pause it for a while. So here, it, there is a delay of the conduction of the current. So as you can see, this gap here is the delay. And this is the firing angle. And this one, red, the red wave, the, re, the red line here, or the waveform here, is the conduction angle. So if we increase the value of VR1 or increase the potentiometer, we can observe that the delay is increasing as well. Therefore, the firing angle is also increasing. And let's try to increase it more until it reaches uh, 90. So at some point, it will not conduct anymore if it reaches the maximum. So uh, the maximum here is the maximum firing angle only for this circuit is 90 degrees. So if we add capacitor, let us see. Let's put a capacitor here. 
let's put the capacitor here. Let's change it to 100 microfarad. And let us try to run it again. Okay. So still, here is the firing angle. And as we can observe, it uh, exceeded 90 degrees already. Yeah, increasing it more. So we are able to produce an output uh, of more than 90 degrees. Uh, some adds another RC, RC to further increase the firing angle. Thus, by adding this capacitor here, we can produce a firing angle greater than 90 degrees. So now let us proceed to the next one. I will be using... I will stop sharing first. I will be using fluid sim. I will be using Fluvid Sim to create a ladder diagram for problem problem three in experiment four. So first, we will be needing twenty four volts, uh, zero volts. Wait. And let's try to run it. So this lamp, lamp A, will be turned on if I push or press the push button one. So here, as you can see. And it is still on even though I already released the push button here. Because... If I release it, uh, it is it is still uh, conducting here. Uh, as you can see, it's normally closed, so the current will flow here. And if I release, this one, the branch one, will be the one to provide it since it is closed to provide the to provide the current flowing here. And we will be having this one, this PB3 or the push button 3 will be the reset button. So um, it will cut the signal, thus it will reset the system. I got a mistake here, so it should be R1. Let's try again. Okay, okay. So if I push or press the push button 2, the second lamp or lamp B will be turned on even though I already released the push button 2. It's still conducting since this branch is the one that is providing the flow. So here it is closed, closed. And if I press it, the, the flow will be here. And if I release it, it will be flowing along the branch. Okay. And... If I, if I click it again, the PB3, it will reset the system, as you can see. So 
if I press PB1, first here, take a look at this, it is open. And if I press it, since uh, current flow already here at the at the at R1 or the relay, it will signal here to also to to be closed on or to flow since there is a flow here. Therefore, there is also flow here. And the same goes here in PB2, so R2. That's why the branch here um, is closed. So there is a flow also here as well as here. So R2. So R2 for the lamp B and R1 for the lamp A. That's all. Thank you. And I hope I explained it clearly. Thank you, sir.